Hello and welcome back to Branding Stationery Set Mockup Help Video. This is Chapter 2, Editing the Mockup. And in this chapter, we'll use one of the mockup templates from this down download and uh, see how we can exchange the default images for your own designs. My name is Maria. I'm a graphic designer and uh, I've been in this field for over 15 years now. So if you have any questions or issues, please feel free to contact me. Now let's get started. First of all, let's open up Adobe Photoshop CS. I'm opening CS5 for the purposes of this tutorial. If you have newer versions, you won't have issues working with them. Uh, of course, there are two ways uh, to opening the template. We can go uh, and through File Open, or if you're working in Windows like I am, just simply drag your file to uh, the work area and it will open up. So you just drag it from Windows Explorer. Okay, so here we have um, the mockup file and as you can see the default images here and the default design is a uh, so-called dummy image. So all you need to do is basically work with this folder and here you have the name for each template. So uh, it is quite simple to exchange files. Just double click on the smart object, open it up and go file, place and let me just find the file here. You place it. Now, if your Photoshop is set up to resize during uh, the uh, import, it will resize to the basically it will fit uh, the largest portion here on on um, the Mako file. So uh, if this happens, all you have to do is just simply click here, and here's the width and height, and just let's type in 100%. Place uh, enter, and then we can click enter or press this little. Um, checkbox here and here we go we have our own design here now if you don't want um, Photoshop to resize during the import of a file just simply press control key on your keyboard or we can go to edit preferences general and here in the general preferences you can see uh, resize image during place if we check, make this uncheck, press OK. If we just repeat the same thing, we go to File, Place, and now we're going to place the image. As you can see, it automatically places the image at 100% width and height. Now, of course, you can scale the images down, up, or any other way you want them. Okay, let me just remove this one because I don't need it. Now, um, when it comes to stationary mockup, I suggest you keep those these um, <clears throat> dummy files, especially when it comes to items like um, folders and CD cases, as, uh, envelopes, because there we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, double editing. And uh, these mockups, these uh, dummy files, actually have cut lines on them, so you'll know where to place your designs. Okay, for now, let's just work on a simple uh, image like this. So now we can, if you want, you can just merge these two images. So we go to File, I'm sorry, Layer, Merge Down, or as you can see here, it's Control e on your keyboard. And now we're just gonna save the file. Don't go Save As, go Save. And once it's been saved, as you can see, it's updated here in a design. Basically, what you <clears throat> need to do now is just repeat the process on all four mockups. And you save it and send it to your clients to see your designs. Okay, now 
uh, when it comes to double editing, let me open up this file for a second. And <clears throat> here I'm going to explain what I mean and why it's a good idea to keep these um, files. Now, let's start with a CD case. Double click on the front one. And now, as you can see, uh, there is a smart object within the smart object. There's a reason why I left uh, this smart object stand here because if you have something that is called a print ready file, this is how it is going to look. Basically, uh, when you send your finished design to a printer, you don't send a separate uh, front case, back case, inside case, and, and the flaps. You send the one file with the uh, cat, cut lines so they know uh, where to cut it and where to fold it. And this is why it's a good idea to keep this file intact. Now, if you don't have this type of a file, if you're working on your design or you just have certain elements of the design, you can just simply place your files here, save it, and move on. Or if you have a print file like this one, and I'm just going to show you one of my files. This is also a dummy file. So once I place it, okay, now it's 100% uh, because we have uh, checked that, uh, unchecked that uh, place, dur uh, resize during place. I'm going to save it. Save it again. Always go with Control Save, and voila, we have the file here. Now, if you don't have, like I said, if you don't have this print file, you can just place your own file here. You don't need to open up the other smart object. And let me just place something here. Okay. Enter. File Save. And as you save it, voila, here's the file. Okay, so basically that's the explanation about the cut um, die cut uh, items. And these are items for like uh, CD cases, CD labels, um, folder, it has such a file, um, envelope, and I think that that's it. So you have two basic options to working with these mockups. Okay, so that was it. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, tutorial. Um, I wish you all the best. If you have any questions, if you have any issues that you want to address, please don't hesitate to email me and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!